Hey everyone and welcome back to OpenTTD. Today, as I mentioned last time, we are gonna go into the oil industry because, well, that's where the big money is. At least, that's if we look at this one here, bam. There you can see oil is actually pretty damn useless in terms of money, it's all the way down here, what the hell. Ah, well, so it's not where the big money is, but it's where we're going anyway. Now. In order to find the, uh, it's not the one industry directory. Yeah, there we go. In order to find a oil well, we need to sort these. I think by production, so we can actually see who's producing a lot of stuff. Oh, there are some. There's something odd going on with this one. It's producing so much wood. I'm not quite sure why. Anyway, um, the most oil being produced in this world at the moment. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Is this one right here completely away from anything that we've built so far? So that's interesting. Is there any other oil anywhere? Then we need to go down to these up here. That's a lot closer, at least. And that one, which is a l not at all closer. But I kind of want to go with the the rich one. That'll also give us an, an option to like, like build a very long route going down here. Bring it up here, connect over the water, connect to here. Either that or bring it around. Actually, I'll, yeah, no, I'll connect it to that and then we'll go up to this refinery, I think. Or yeah. Okay, so we're gonna stick with the trains for now because trains are fun. Now, um. We don't need a lot of tracks on this one, because, the, or rather, a lot of separate tracks on the station here, since um, the amount of trains that will be coming in here will be kind of small. Not because we don't have, a, we won't have a lot of trains here, but it's just that with the long distance they have to travel, they won't be around that often. Oh, a bank, nice. Anyway, let's go around these farmlands here and. Excellent. Now we have one bank in the entire world. Very useful. Okay, so we agreed to go over here and across the water. I think we'll cross here where it's kind of narrow because that'll make it cheaper on the bridges. So if we just get the bridges set here, we need one of these and we need one more of these. There we go. Now, one of the things I'm just gonna make sure at start here is that we have signals before the bridges because bridges eventually will end up being a um, little cause our, our trains to go slower across them. Now, at the moment, none of our trains can actually reach those 250 something miles per hour that um, is supported by the bridges, but eventually they will. Hopefully, at least. Provided we don't go bankrupt due to some strange mistake. But nah, that won't happen. Jinx, jinx, jinx. Uh, um, I don't have any airports, so I don't need exclusive access at least. Okay, let's see. There. And there. There we go. Okay, so far so good. Now we need to bring this up and make a junction up here. Now I want this one to be a two-way junction, a proper two-way junction. Um, so what we're actually gonna do is get the landscaping tool here and do like this. Now because this um, this way we can build tunnels here, and tunnels they don't suffer any sort of uh, like reduced speed, unlike the um, the bridges. Ah, let's just do this. There we go. Now, this track here, um, basically, uh, if we just p quickly put some signals here, then I can see for myself whether the uh, trains are coming. Okay. So, we need a way to go from this one, this track here, up here, and to the left and we need a way from here to go down here 
and what that means basically is that we need to do whoops we not don't need to do that we need to do exactly this and I'm actually gonna no I was gonna remove that again now this will cause the trains to slow down without doubt but um, because ah, of how narrow this entire thing is uh, signals remove. I think we might just remove that one as well. Okay, so now you can go, go from here, you can go down here, and then come out the right track, or you can come from here and go up the right way. Excellent. Excellent! Now, we have the actual track coming in here. So, yeah, I'll, I'll get around to it. From here, we need people to be able to turn down here. So for that, we'll... No, I don't want those. We'll remove another signal here. Now, of course, this could have been uh, done a lot more compact if I hadn't had all this... Um, um, raised or lowered land here, but... There we go. So now this junction is actually completely intact, It'll, it's able to support both way traffic. Just need some more signals, of course. As you can see, we're still doing fun on money. Mm, not quite as good as it could be, for, but... Um, uh, it, well, we're doing okay. And now, of course, I lined this up so badly that um, it's actually a bit in it. disappointing. Gonna have to do this there and remove all this extra tag I built for no reason whatsoever. Okay, signal time. Yay, everyone's happy fun time. Okay, so change going here, through here, up here. And then we need to branch off from here or up to an oil refinery. And I actually think we'll go for the far one just to make this a properly profitable route. So Ah, that's a bit big, maybe. There we go. I'll do. I'll do, pig. I'll do. An usual cross section here so the train can get to both tracks. And then we shall... We only need a... I reckon we only need, for now at least, a one-way junction here, but we might as well make it two, I think. Um, so let's see if we, do we want to make it here or down here. I think we'll do it down here. There's more, sp there's more space here. So if we have it coming in here. Now the reason I haven't built the train yet, as, as I mentioned, is that the money is kind of lagging. So until they actually start coming in faster than we can build tra uh, tracks, then I'm just going to stick with building tracks. Now, I might need to turn this one. Uh, I need to make an upper turn here. I'm sad about that, I, I didn't want to make an upper turn. But the game is kind of forcing my hand by having this shitty river right here. And this one here, we don't want to go around. Ah! Poppycock. Of course I had to misalign that. Anyway, the train tracks are nearly connected now. There we go, now we can start. I'm transporting stuff at least. Um, we put in the block signals, we put in the path signals here. And that's actually enough for one train to traverse this entire stretch here. And, uh, but we still need to connect them here, of course. That's a given. So what we'll do is we'll do the same thing as before. We'll make a small dent in the ground here. And then we shall actually... Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Um, like that. And then we'll put some tunnels in here. Now, this one there, 
this one there. Remove the signal. Now, of course, you won't be able to turn into the depot from here because it's a 90 degree turn, but no matter. And, whoops, why do I keep doing that? Up there. And round and round and round it goes. Where it stops? It's right there. And we need to remove the signal again. I'm not lucky with my signal placement here, they only seem to interfere with what I'm trying to do. Anyway, this. Um, there we go. So this one needs signals there, there, this one needs there, and there, there. And this one, there, this one definitely needs one there. There we go, now we can extend these out. But we have actually spent all our money on construction. How about that? Impressive. Anyway, that means that we have to actually wait a bit for some money to pour in. What the fuck is going on here? Uh, that was explain why we're not losing any. We're not getting any money, at least. Um, what the fuck is going on here? Waiting for free path, waiting for free path. Why is this one turning the wrong way? How the hell did you manage to turn the wrong way in there? But that will explain why we're not making any money whatsoever. And of course now all the trains broke down break down as soon as they can start moving again. But how the hell did you manage to turn the wrong way, train? I w really want to know that. That's just so uncalled for. There's no way he can have run past these tracks over here and came in from this side. So he has to have turned somehow. And that's what I'm not getting. Anyway. Train 2 has a void order. Maybe you do. Oh yeah, that that's the might have been I don't know. I no no idea what that could have been. Train one has a void order. And everyone just keeps breaking down. Oh, come on, guys. You're wasting my time here. My time is precious. Like gemstones. And puppies. Ah, at least the trains have started start moving now. We still have the issue of trains only being able to go like one at a time out here, but. At least they're moving now. Okay, with the problem solved, I think we can afford to speed up the time a bit and get some money going. There we go. That had damn well better not be the one where you just build that. Ah, uh, nope. Oh, it's called Slaggington. Okay. Anyway, we ran out of money while doing signals, so I'm just gonna go back to that. Okay, there we go, that's all the signals placed. Um, and I'm gonna have to remove one of them again. But um, at least we have the signals connected now, so we can just put some depots here quickly. Factory and construction, don't really care about that, don't need, don't need new factories. Now, now we, fi we finally have some money now, which is good I guess. So we'll go down here, new vehicles, um, that one's a passenger one, so we don't really want to use that. Refillable oil but oil, yeah exactly, so that's not what we want to use. 
uh, uh, let's, this is a really long track, so let's actually go with um, the longest trains that we can support here. So that's 11 uh, oil tankers. And go up there under it all. And no loading. Now I'm just really pointing that out because, well, it's not, I don't need to, but um, I think it's, uh, it's, it's it's good custom to actually get used to like giving them very precise orders so they don't fuck up. Now of course this one should hopefully start transferring some oil into the station here so our train can pick it up. Yeah, there we go. Slowly coming here. As soon as we can afford it, I'm gonna clone this train and then we'll have at least two or three of them going on this track all the way up. Now you might argue that building junctions here and junctions here instead of just crossing over and continuing up, or rather junctions here and up here, seems like a bit of a waste, and yes it does. I'll be the first to admit that, um, but on the other hand, it has now given us uh, infrastructure that, that is um, properly integrated, so we can easily connect with both this, t this town, um, all these factories and, and the factories, there's a, a mine, a farm and a steel mill. Anyway, we can connect to all of this very easily and just basically build our station here and say, okay, we don't want this factory now. Then we can send all the trains we want to here because the uh, junctions have, are two-way. The only, I think, the only two-way junctions we don't really have are uh, this one here. Yeah, but so far we're not really using this branch. I mean, we should re probably ex extend this to um, to go both ways. That might actually not be too hard to do. Now the only thing is, um, let's see, transparency options. No. There we go, I can remove the bridges completely so we can actually see. I need to put a signal there. So now we can... Uh, that doesn't make any sense because this... That's the wrong track. Yay! If you are fucking up. Okay, so thinking probably now um, we can turn right here up against that, and this one can go left, but we can't go from here to here. So we need to do what I just did, but we need to do it here. There we go, and now if we come from here, we need to get this track somehow to connect to that one. Okay, now is that possible? I think it is, because we can do this and actually bring take it beneath the... Take it beneath the bridge. Now this might look a bit messy, and yes, it probably is, but... And of course this is not optimal at all. So I might need to Yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna have to clear this out so these two don't intersect with the other. Because that's just an invitation to crashes. Now if you would please get out of the way, stupid broken train. Yes, come on. Move. Move it, move it. And there we go, now we can quickly build that, and get rid of this track here. And then we put a path signal right here. Now this should, as far as I can tell, it should fun function as a proper two-way junction. You can go here, you can go both right and left, and when you're coming from here, you can both go... So you can go up there. Yeah, and you can go that way, and from, come from here, you can go around here, and up that way, and you can go down. Yes. That should function. So what we're just gonna do quickly is jump down here, clone this train, and start it off. And that's gonna be it for this episode. So when we come back, we'll start having some goods that we need to pick up from up here as well. Um, so I'll get right on that, I'll probably deliver them to this town down here, because it's uh, um, lovely far away. And then, yeah, 
So until next time, I'm Jerry and this is OpenTTD.